This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back. This video is all about metamorphic grades, uh, metamorphic rocks, definitions, and looking at both prograde and retrograde metamorphism. So when discussing metamorphic, metamorphic is a rock type that has been altered or changed due to temperature and pressure. Now, this is usually isochemical doesn't really change its chemical composition and the grades the grades relate to a specific condition or environment whereby you have certain range of temperature and pressures that relate to a certain depth in the earth's interior which will also relate to a certain layer based on location and the grades are basically the intensity of that temperature and pressure and also the sustained amount of time which the rock is under these pressures and temperatures. As you can see the uh, grades are in three divisions or three sections or three uh, parts. There's low, there is intermediate and there is high. Now I can also see that uh, might use the word medium instead of intermediate sometimes in some literature or textbooks but intermediate is what I use here. So, low uh, low metamorphic grade, that would be lowest temperature. So, we'll start with low and the starting point for metamorphism. And this is basically after we have what's called diagenesis. So, once the depth or the temperature or the burial of the rock gets to over 200 degrees Celsius, um, to up to about 320 degrees Celsius, then you're going to start to have this uh, low uh, metamorphism, metamorphic grade, and changing the rock into its first type or, or, or stage of metamorphic um, or metamorphism. Then the pressure is again twinned with temperature and depth of around 300 to 600 megapascals. Depth range again has to be around, you know, depends on condition, but average depth range is 10. To 20 kilometers so you can then move so if this rock is further um, buried or under more overburden or there's some sort of like subduction or subsidence or tectonic activity okay then if the rock goes deeper to about 20 to 30 kilometers there it'll, it'll uh, encounter more pressure more overburden the pressure is lithostatic okay uh, and then obviously the temperatures will increase from 320 degrees Celsius up to about 500 degrees Celsius. And this would be intermediate metamorphic grade. Now with a low grade example is our slate right here. The intermediate um, going between each uh, grade. This is going to be phyllite. Okay, so you're seeing um, a change in perhaps the mineral alignment. Uh, the coarseness, the size of the minerals, and also the start of foliation. And that is dependent on also the type of metamorphism that we encounter. Then, obviously, if we go deeper uh, into a, uh, over or deeper than 30 kilometers, you're going to have a pressure that's above 1000 megapascals, which is uh, quite intense and you have a temperature between 500 and 1000 degrees Celsius and depends on the mineral composition of which minerals are stable at this um, at these conditions so it's the stability of the mineral and how it changes uh, gonna have non hydrous minerals at this depths and temperatures and over, obviously at low low you're gonna have a lot of hydrous minerals with pores and a lot of water and fluids so the high metamorphic grade um, is the most intense and uh, you're going to have um, the transition from rocks uh, that are um, this is schist and this is nice right there now if it continues to be in the high intensity grade then you might get a rock called migmatite forming at the very uh, extreme pressures and depths however anything more than this temperature or even deeper down you're going to have more uh, partial melting and the creation of magma so i went from low intermediate to high and this example of prograde metamorphism so prograde is the is the 
uh, kind of forward momentum, forward transition from low, intermediate to high. If we're going backwards, if there's a rock that is perhaps starts at intermediate and there's some sort of uplift, okay, or rising of the rock, maybe to the surface or close to the surface, then you might have a thing called retrograde metamorphism, which is kind of like going backwards, basically, as opposed to the normal, normal uh, progression. And this would be the addition of fluids uh, added towards the surface or the shallow depths, plus a lower temperature to change the rock. So the addition of fluids at a lower temperature would be retrograde metamorphism. All right, so you put this information onto a graph and the, uh, the axes, I have temperature up here. I have pressure in kilobars. So I've just uh, altered the unit from um, megapascals to kilobars. And also we have depth over here. So this would be the surface over there. Okay, so this would be our area of low temperature, low pressure, and this would be our lithification. So we're linking up between uh, the sedimentary rock formation and how we go through diagenesis into uh, metamorphism in different grades. So there's lithification. Then you would get your diagenesis of burial. So basically this is like any forming like shale, perhaps, as a sedimentary rock. Then we get a little bit uh, deeper, a little bit more pressure, and we get our next or first grade, which would be our low grade metamorphism. So we've got our hydrous minerals. Okay, we have uh, shallow depths. We have our range of pressure and temperatures. Okay, and we also have what's called our index minerals. Minerals that are stable and are common at these conditions. So this low one would be uh, chlorite as our mineral, okay? And our first uh, kind of type of rock would be, let's say, slate. Okay, going from shale to slate, okay? And we can also add in our common types of uh, base components, clay, serpentine, or serpentine, okay? But the index is chlorite. Okay, so next one is our intermediate or medium uh, metamorphic, metamorphic grade. I'm gonna go from around this range of temperature and this range of, of uh, pressure, and this corresponds to a certain depth. So we're looking at depths that are ranging between, you know, 10 kilometers really, um, that's kind of start to move into, into low and then intermediate. So intermediate and looking at maybe a phyllite or a schist rock, the index minerals looking at biotite as the first one. And then looking at uh, garnet as a medium, like in the middle, it starts to form right here in the middle. And then we also have uh, Strahlite, that would be at the end. So these three index minerals, biotite, garnet, and strahlite, are in order of what really comes first based on temperature and pressure. So these um, clays and serpentines kind of change over to micas, and so obviously garnet, or garnet, as a primary mineral within these rocks that are very stable. Some of the hydrous minerals are then replaced with non-hydrous minerals as the pressure starts to squeeze out all of the different fluids. Then we have our high metamorphic grade. So this is basically above uh, 10 um, kilobars all right, of pressure. It is above around 500 degrees upwards. Now there's a point where it starts to have partial melting uh, depends on the rock composition and also we get to an area where it's just going to be pure magma. So we put magma here. And we have partial melting as this, this dashed line. So anything in between the partial melting and magma and the, the line that kind of separates the intermediate to high, this would be our high metamorphic grade. So it's a larger, more uh, greater range of both temperature and pressure. So in this high grade, you're going to have rocks uh, that are like nice and migmatite and migmatite. 
and you're going to have the index minerals of of silymerite. So you have this transition of index minerals based on stability, the transition of the other minerals and other components like clay, sometimes transformed to micas and garnets, and you also get basically the micas in this pressure are going to break and you're going to get forms of hornblende at this uh, pre pressure and temperature. These are hydrous, but a certain kind of hydrous mineral. And you're going to get pyroxene, and this would form basically after hornblende because these will be non-hydrous right there. So this is basically anything in this pressure and temperature range. And you have high metamorphic grade. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Check out more videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.